Okay, so I'm out at a homeowner's property in Kendallville, Indiana. And for those of you who are not familiar, Kendallville, Indiana is about 30 minutes north of Fort Wayne. And they were hit with a massive hailstorm about three, four weeks ago. And we were contacted by a homeowner who had some damage to his roof and his siding. And he wanted us to come out. He seen a uh, steel shingle that we installed for one of his neighbors down the street. And him and his wife really loved it and they wanted to have us out and inspect their roof. They were expecting some money back from their insurance company. And he wanted to get a quote. And before we could give a quote, he's got some issues with the roof and some of the structure that we wanted to bring to his attention before we began the work. Uh, basically, our system is going to be a permanent roofing solution. It's a metal roof, metal shingle. Um, we're expecting, most homeowners, when they go with that system, they're expecting that thing to be the last roof that they've ever need. They're expecting very little to no maintenance at all. So there are some conditions of the roof that need to be met in order for that to happen. And for us to be able to guarantee our work and to guarantee that it's not going to leak in certain areas that are prone to leaking. So one of the areas that one of the things that we found while we were out here is the whole home. It's a beautiful house built in late 1800s, I believe. And it's all brick, all original brick, native lumber. Um, he's got a brick chimney. When they bought the house, he said that when the house came for sale, they, they knew for a long time that they would want this property. So they bought it immediately. Um, the old homeowner had put some of this aluminum siding. I know it looks like vinyl, but it's not. And here's your, your native brick. And I've got wasps all over this roof, but we are one with the bees today. So you've got this brick and you can see up here, it's falling apart and in bad shape. And you see that brown piece of metal down here? That's uh, what we would call a sidewall counter flashing. And with a metal roof, basically we got one piece. So it's one piece, it's got a curve in it, it goes into the brick where we cut into the brick here, cut into the brick all the way down, tuck that piece in, and then that piece comes out and over your metal panel. So their brick's in really bad shape. and one thing that we wanted to tell him and bring to his attention was how bad a shape it's in and he's a smart enough guy he knew that his brick was in bad shape and he's had some other contractors out to give him estimates and he had mentioned that we were the only ones who basically told him that we weren't willing to guarantee the work at these areas that they wouldn't leak and if you look here is you know obviously there's a bunch of goop along the chimney but we have to do the same thing at this so the whole purpose of a flashing the chimney flashing I hope you can see this is we have to make that cut into this brick our chimney flashing has to we cut it called a reglet it'll tuck push in there and the whole design is that water runs off the brick onto the flashing onto the top of the shingle or the metal shingle or the metal roof or whatever roofing surface you have runs down on top and away when you have brick that's in really bad shape water can get it'll soak in it'll either be the brick is bad where it's cracked really bad right here falling apart or the mortar joints are completely gone or extremely porous so the water will run in down the side it'll get in and then it'll get behind our flashing and leak and that's not really something that's reasonable to expect any roofing contractor to have to be able to cover just because there's just nothing we can do we're not brick masons we can't we can't rebuild chimneys and you wouldn't want us to rebuild your chimney you know you want you know there's that old saying of jack of all trades master of none well we want to be masters of metal roofing that's what we are we're masters of roofing in general but we really passionately believe in metal roofing um, and we're, we try to be masters of that. We want to be great at our craft. So what we recommended to this homeowner was that he gets 
his chimney and his sidewall flashings at minimum, the areas of roof to wall penetration. You got roof, wall, penetration. So the at those areas, we have to have, he's got to contact a brick mason. If he can't find one, we can make some calls to some that we know. And he has to have it tuck pointed is what it's called. Tuck pointing is just the process where you are repairing or replacing mortar joints between the brick, getting them up to almost new standard. You're refurbishing your brick. And a lot of times people want to keep that brick because it looks beautiful. Um, so that's what we're doing. And the homeowner agrees. So we're going to help him find a brick mason and point them in the right direction, give them a bunch of photos, some measurements, and help him with this because he wants to restore the home back to its original brick look. And he wants to put a black slate style or mimic steel metal shingle. So, and it's gonna look beautiful. We'll post some pictures on here, the, some before and afters when we're done. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, if your house has any issues or your roof has any issues and you're just not sure what's going on, shoot a question in the comment section or reach out to us directly and ask for us. Say you've, you've watched the video on YouTube, Facebook, Google business page, whatever. And I'll make it a point to either come out and take a look at what you have, or I'll just answer your question if it can be answered directly. So thank you for your time and have a great day.